Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can create a range for the float values. So right now what you are seeing over here is that I have tried to create the range based on the float value which is 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.1 but it gives me the type error that float object cannot be interpreted as integer because range takes the integer value. Well then how we can do that? Well, it's easy since you have already seen the function. What we can do is create our own range function and then create the range base for these float values. So how we can do that is like this. Create the function range underscore float. Give the three parameter like the range takes. Start and stop and then step. After that, we need to do this, do the inner working to specify how it should work. So what I'll do is I will create one variable x and assign it to the start and I will use the while loop while. So we need to reach the stop value. So while x is less than or equals to stop, right? Because x is where the values are starting. Suppose you have passed the range 1 to 5, right? And 1 is stored over here in the start. And what we are saying that 1, do the looping until the 1 is less than or equals to stop, okay? So once we do that, we will put a colon and come down and use the uh, keyword yield to keep the value of x and then say, x is equals to, to increase the value by the each step, I will say x is equals to x plus step because based on what the step value we are specifying, we can uh, increase the value by that. All right, that's pretty much all you need. So if I go and execute that and now if I pass range underscore float 0.5 to 1 to and increase by 0.1 and if I enter what it gives me that generated the object range at float right so let's go ahead and store the value in this and uh, then for i in rf print i and if I go ahead what it gives me is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0.79 and which is 8, 9 and then finally the last value which is 1, right? So this is how very easily you can do that. But one other enhancement that you can do in this is uh, by default, if you remember the range function in my previous video, it takes the one argument as the mandatory but rest of the two like start and stop uh, step is something which it does not take. So what we can do is we can specify the default argument saying uh, uh, where to start is basically zero if nothing is given and step is equals to one if nothing is given. That way if I just specify one or any other value they know where to start. But the problem is this then it will pick for the integer value. So whenever you are defining the specific function you know, make sure that you are properly specifying their values and uh, if there is a need, then you can specify even the default value. So maybe in this case, default value, you can specify not the integer, but the float like a 0.5 or 0.1 or wherever, you know, as per your business reason uh, or business case, it has to be specified with the start value. So that's pretty much all I have, but I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.